In this video, I want to address the question, do you need to supplement on a raw vegan diet? And if you want to learn more about the raw vegan lifestyle, can, can consider coming to the Fruit Festival. You can click on the link below this video to learn more. Our Fruit Festival goes from the July the 26th to the 2nd of August, and there's not a lot of time left to book, so please take action very soon. Do you need to supplement on a raw vegan diet? I want to talk about supplements in general. You will have people in the raw food lifestyle that will promote supplements. And I would suggest that, you know, well, you will see people in the health world in general promote supplements. The reason that people promote supplements is because they are a great business. And that is the only reason. Please, please understand this you can research this yourself it's very openly out there it is a great business you can find podcasts youtube channels videos about creating a supplement business you'll find testimonials of people saying i was doing health coaching and i was selling you know ebooks and courses to get and recipe books and all that stuff and then I made an offer of a supplement and it sold out in minutes and now I'm in the supplement business and that's how it works. It's an incredibly compelling, powerful product because it is a magical product. There's a magical appeal that people buy into. Logically, everyone logically understands their, everyone understands they're buying into nonsense and garbage. Logically, we all understand that when you buy something in a pill form or a powder form, that it's not really food anymore. We understand that logically, but humans aren't logical and we're looking for a magical solution often in life. We're looking for what's the least I can do to get the most benefit. That's what a supplement is in the health industry. It's kind of like some kind of scam financial thing in the financial industry invest in this thing and you'll get 100 times return in no time. It's what's the smallest amount I can do to get the biggest outcome. Human beings are wired to look for that. In the romantic world, it's, you know, here's this one line or something that'll make every woman want to go on a date with you or something or whatever it is, you know. It's, it's these things of like, these appeals of here's this tiny thing. You don't have to change much. You don't have to change yourself. You don't have to change your lifestyle. You don't have to do any work. Just do this small thing and everything in your life will change for the better. But does that sound reasonable? Do you really think there's like a pickup line that's going to make every woman want to date you? Or do you really think there's a, you know, some investment out there that's going to make you a millionaire overnight or... Uh, I don't know. Are you, are you going to go out there and find, you know, an, a, a car or a house or an antique that's like way underpriced or something like that? These things don't really happen that often. Uh, or a lottery ticket. A lottery ticket is the, uh, 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 the best of gambling. Trying to get a big return with very little investment and you know, it's 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 kind of not going to happen. Generally, people win lotteries, but it's rare that someone wins the health lottery. You know, so supplements represent the lottery ticket in a sense of of health. It's the idea that I can buy this small thing that I take it, and this is going to make the difference. And when you watch marketing of supplements it's so powerful that even me who doesn't take supplements and doesn't need to when i'm watching it i'm like i want to take that stuff that sounds amazing i really want that to work so i understand why it is a compelling product it's a compelling totally compelling product and i totally understand why so um you know, I'm not, I'm not trying to make fun of anyone for taking it, for using supplements, but it's a product. 
And the great thing about supplements is that it's a food product, but people think of it like a medical thing. It's, it's just food, but people think of it. It's dried food, but people think of it like it's going to have this medical benefit. It's the opposite of what people think about fruit. They think it's just food. It's not going to have any much benefit. But supplement, great benefit. <laughs> you know, so... Um, and it's because of marketing. You've been marketed supplements massively. You've not been marketed fruit very much. So people just think fruit. It's just like that. Whatever. It's boring. Um, but fruit can really change your life, change your health massively. Supplements can't. Supplements have never been found. No evidence that supplements are, improve your health. No evidence that supplements actually do what they say they're going to do, like secure your health or stop you from getting deficiencies or any of that. No evidence. More evidence that they're actually making a detriment or not doing anything. Uh, probably not particularly bad for you, but not really doing any benefit. And most people aren't going to take them anyway. People buy them. Don't really take them, probably. So, uh, and some people make them part of the regimen, but, you know, not much. Most people don't. So the supplement business is, um, you know, not so great. And it, well, it's great if you want to make money. And the marketing of it is phenomenal. Like, because they can put a lot of money into the marketing of it because it, it, it it's profitable. It's a dried product. You can store it. You can have it in a warehouse for years. Um, it doesn't require you know, refrigeration or anything. So unlike fruit and unlike food, which requires a lot of storage and is heavy and rots, like that's something that's constantly you're having to, uh, you know, get new fruit in and all, all that. And it's hard to ship it and it's very expensive. Look at these fruit businesses that are trying to sell fruit online and stuff. And I don't think any of them want to do it expensively. I think they would love to reduce their prices. But they can't make, they can't keep the business going without doing that. So, yeah. So supplements are a better, a better product for people to sell, and people have worked this out over the years. People have started off wanting to sell health to people, or share health with people, and get people on a healthy lifestyle. And then they gradually start to realize most of these people aren't going to make any of the changes I'm recommending. I might as well just sell them supplements. That's the, that's how that goes for the health guru. And even people on every side, the people that are promoting the meat diet, they're like, vegan diet's got no nutrients, you need to eat more meat. And then they're selling supplements anyway. All the guys, vegan diet doesn't have enough protein, but here's my protein powder. Eat meat and here's my protein powder. So every side, there's people selling supplements because they sell. People want to buy them. And that's the reason. And, I, and I'm not saying that there's anything wrong with that, really. Um, but people aren't very upfront about that, I, I guess. But maybe they do believe in them. But there's not any evidence any of the supplements work or do anything. But that's the reason that people promote them. And the reason people take them is because they are usually made to feel they 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 lack something, and human beings look for the negative. Naturally, we think about what we lack. We feel like we lack. Our problem really today with food is we have too much, too much of an abundance, too much of the wrong too too much of the wrong foods that causes our health issues. But people are thinking they're lacking something, so they want to take more. Well, the supplement allows you to take more. You don't need more. You can get, you need to get your, and the mainstream education information on this is you need to get your, your nutrients from um, fruits and vegetables and, and whole foods. That's where we should get our nutrients from, from whole foods. So uh, when it comes to supplements, no, I personally don't supplement because I don't see any need to. And, uh, but the main supplements people would maybe recommend outside of the other things it would be stuff like protein and b12 and vitamin d and um, i i don't personally supplement these things and these things i mean protein i think is a non-issue i've discussed that in another video 
Vitamin B12 is something I've not supplemented, but people can have issues with B12, so I'm not saying that it's um, it's rare. It's incredibly rare that people have issues with B12, but it can happen, not just to vegans, but other people. So it's worth being aware of, and vitamin D can be a problem for people, but that any, on any diet, that can be a problem for people. So it's something to be aware of. Um, but it's not particularly, it's not necessarily a, a raw vegan issue. And you should be aware of getting enough sunlight and stuff. And that should be a part of your health plan. So anyway, thank you for watching this video. I'll see you in the next one. But if you're interested in learning more, come to the UK Fruit Fest. I'll put a link down below for more information. Thank you very much.